Hello everyone and welcome to children's Bible class today. Today we're going to talk about how everyone needs Jesus and we're going to worship Jesus because he came for everyone. Today we're going to learn about the three wise men who visited Jesus and the parents and his parents after his birth. The wise men traveled a long way to search for the one who was to be born as the savior of the world. The wise men knew that they needed to find Jesus. Their story helps us understand that everyone needs Jesus. Jesus is the reason the wise men traveled so far. And Jesus is the reason that we are all here today. Let's sing a song about Jesus being our friend. I have a friend who loves me, who loves me, who loves me. I have a friend who loves me, and Jesus is his name. He loves me, he loves me, he loves me with such tender love. He loves me, he loves me, and Jesus is his name. Yo tengo un amigo que me ama, me ama, me ama. Yo tengo un amigo que me ama, su nombre es Jesús. Que me ama, que me ama, que me ama, si que un tenero amor. Que me ama, que me ama, su nombre es Jesús. We are like the wise men. We need Jesus also. Everyone needs Jesus because we all need to be saved. The Bible tells us that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Because we have all sinned, we all need Jesus to save us. Everyone needs Jesus. Let's thank God for Jesus and the salvation that he offers us as we sing our next song. Thank you, Lord, for loving me, and thank you, Lord, for blessing me. Thank you, Lord, for making me whole and saving my soul. Thank you, Lord, for loving me. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Let us all in one accord sing praises to Christ the Lord. Let us all unite in song to praise him all day long. Thank you, Lord, for loving me. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Not everyone knows that they need Jesus. It's part of our job as Christians to make sure that people meet Jesus and come to believe in him and trust him as their savior. When people hear about Jesus, their hearts are changed. Our next song helps us remember to shine our light for Jesus to everyone. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine all the time. Let it shine, oh yeah. Shine all over the neighborhood, I'm going to let it shine. Shine all over the neighborhood, I'm going to let it shine. Shine all over the neighborhood, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine all the time, let it shine, oh yeah. Hide it under a bushel, no. I'm going to let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no. I'm going to let it shine, hide it under a bushel, no. I'm going to let it shine, let it shine all the time, let it shine, oh yeah. Don't let Satan it out, I'm going to let it shine. Don't let Satan it out, I'm going to let it shine. Don't let Satan it out. I'm going to let it shine, let it shine all the time, let it shine, oh yeah. Everyone needs Jesus. 
When we share Jesus with others, they can believe in Jesus also. When people believe in Jesus and follow God's instructions for their lives, they go to heaven when they die. One of those instructions for our lives is to tell other people what Jesus has done for our lives. Did you know that anyone can talk to people about Jesus? You don't have to be a preacher or missionary to share the good news of Jesus with people. You can share the gospel just being yourself. Sometimes people can even use what they do or their hobbies to tell others about Jesus. Let me tell you a story about how somebody that shows how you can use what you love to show Jesus' story to others. Have you seen one of these lately? So maybe you've had one, maybe you've eaten one very recently, like last week, a couple of days ago maybe. Of course you have. This is called a candy cane. They are a special candy that is given out at this time of year. Did you know that there actually is a story that goes along with this candy cane? The story goes that a candy maker in Indiana was trying to develop a new candy and decided to put the story of Jesus into that candy. It is said that he wanted to create a treat that could serve as a witness for Jesus and have as many symbols for the life of Christ as possible. He began with a hard stick of white candy. The white was to represent the virgin birth and the pure, sinless life of our Savior. The candy's hardness was said to be an homage to the solid rock, the foundation of the church, and to symbolize the firmness of God's promise to eternal life with us. He then bent the straight stick into a hook to form a J. We have a J. That would represent the first letter of Jesus' name. It also, realizing that it looked like a shepherd's staff, which could be used as a reminder that the Lord is a good shepherd. The candy maker then thought that the candy looked a little bit plain and decided to add red stripes to it. So some of the candies like this one actually have three thin stripes. Those three thin stripes represent the beating and the lashings that Jesus took. The longer, thicker stripe in there represents the blood that Jesus had to shed in order for our sins to be forgiven. Do you see how the candy maker used what he was good at and what he enjoyed to do to help others learn about Jesus? Everyone can find a way to be themselves and show Jesus' story and love in their lives. The wise men followed the star to find Jesus. They traveled a long way to bring gifts and to worship the king of all people. John 14, 6 tells us that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus is for everyone. The wise men brought gifts of expensive spices and gold. As we sing our next song, think about what gifts you would like to give the king who is the way, the truth, and the life. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. The mountains are his and the valleys are his and the trees are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. Jesus gives us eternal life. That's why everyone needs Jesus, and that's why we worship him today. Let's have a prayer to end our time together today. Dear God, thank you so much for sending your son Jesus to save us. Open our eyes, Lord, to see the openings that you give us to tell others about your love and your son Jesus. Help us to be brave, just like the wise men who set out on a journey to find a king and didn't know where they were going. Help us use the gifts you gave us to tell others about Jesus, just like the candy maker did when he used candy to tell Jesus' story to others. Finally, Lord, fill us with so much joy and love that your story is shown to our lives as we live each day. We know that we all need Jesus. May we worship today, and may our worship bring you joy. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. What a great class again today, everyone. Thank you for being with us each week for our lessons online and then for the cartoon and craft after. I hope you are all having a great, wonderful holiday season. 
We miss seeing each one of you and hope we can see you and your family soon. Theo and Matthew are coming up next and Miss Amy will follow right after that with this week's craft. We hope to see you all next week when we start beginning our live classes also. Goodbye. Hear ye, hear ye. I am the magnificent and splendid Theo the Great. Theo the Great? What are you king of? I'm king of the whole world. Everybody has to do what I say. Imagine that. How did you get to be the king of the world? I have my own star up in the sky. It says so on the paper that my grandpa gave me. It's named after me and everything. That's certainly impressive. How did you get your own star? Grandpa Zach gave it to me for Christmas. My Theo star is written in a special book with all the names of the stars in it. I'm more important than anyone. You know, there was another king who thought he was more important than anyone else. His name was Herod the Great. He loved being king more than he loved God. Did he have his own star written down in a special book? No, he didn't. But one day he heard that a new star was in the night sky. Do you think it's my Theo star? No. Herod heard it was a sign from God that a new king had been born. Bet you the new king was Jesus. You're right. Then Herod heard that three wise men followed the star a long way looking for the new king. This can't be, Herod said. I'm the new king. Uh-oh, betcha he jumped up and down and yelled his head off. Harold wanted to kill this new king. He ordered the wise men to find Jesus and then come back to tell him where Jesus was. King Herod was a bad man. Did the wise men do what he said? King Herod was rich and powerful. He was used to being obeyed. The wise men had a hard choice to make. They could obey King Herod, or they could worship the newborn king. What do you think they chose? I think they chose to worship Jesus, the newborn king, because they were wise men. You're right, Theo. They knew that Jesus was the king above all kings, and that God sent him. They brought Jesus gifts. They bowed down and worshiped him. I choose Jesus to be my king, too, and I want to bring him some gifts. My Hot Wheels toy car and some Nutter Butter cookies and, and... Jesus is happy that you chose him to be your king. The gift he wants most is your faith in him. In return, he has a gift for you. Why would Jesus give me a gift? Just between us, I mess up a lot. All of us mess up a lot. That's why we need Jesus. In return for our gift and faith, Jesus gives us the gift of eternal life. Wowzer, Jesus is the real king of the world. Hello boys and girls, it's Miss Amy, and I'm here today. I hope you had a very Merry Christmas. I know we did. Um, I, I hope your family had a very safe and happy holiday, and we'll have a great new year, because that's coming up soon. Hopefully we'll have a better 2021 than we had in 2020, and I can't wait to see you guys again. 
in January, we're going to start classes again. So the next time I see you, it'll be in church if you decide to come. We'll still be doing stuff like this, but um, it'll be more just without the craft because we'll be doing the craft live. Okay, so for this last one, the last thing in your bag should be a little poem about a candy cane. All right, and today um, we're going to actually make something that you can give a friend or you can give to someone who you love and want to say Merry Christmas or Happy Holiday or Happy New Year too. So I'm not sure if you have a candy cane in your bag. Um, it would be nice if you did, but if you didn't, if you're like our family, I'll bet you've got a candy cane hanging around at this time of year. So we're going to get a candy cane, and what you're going to do is you're going to take this poem about the candy cane and about what it means and you're going to tape a candy cane to that poem and then you're going to write a to and from on the back to give it to someone that you love and want to say hi or isn't that nice to so that's all of our craft for today you just needed a little tape and maybe something to write to this special person from you, okay? And hopefully I will see you soon. Bye, boys and girls.